Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, I am doing a cash unstuffing for the expenses that I had used for the week for the week of the 7th, February 7th to the 13th, February 13th. And um, so I just wanted to get two things out of the way. First off, thank you everybody. Thank you all for the support. Thank you all my subscribers. Thank you everybody that has commented on my channel. And for those that has en had entered the giveaway, I am gonna close the giveaway on Saturday, Saturday um, the 20, the, tw the 19th, sorry, February 19th. And if you wanna enter the, enter the giveaway, the rules are listed in my, in three videos. And that is my, cash stuffing for my extra income, my cash stuffing for my first paycheck of February, and my budget with me for my first paycheck of February. So definitely check out those videos if you want to be entered into the giveaway. And this this giveaway is ending on the 19th. And that's it. Let's just get into the video. Um, This week I had four no spend days, but I think I went over in make one category which was be, which would be my pets category and the reason being is i knew that i didn't i possibly didn't have enough funds in my pets envelope but i needed to buy a toy for spring and it's just one of those interactive toys that you pour the treats in and she can just find the maze and and stuff like that because i've noticed that when i pour dry food into her bowl she'll kick out the dry food and play around with it in the hallway and in the kitchen so she's i guess she's like a soccer player she's dribbling treats all over the house so i'm hoping she would stop doing that so my four no spend days was the 7th the 9th the 10th and the 12th every other day i did no spend day so that was pretty good um so yep let's just quickly get into it I'm going to start off with the pets category because I might have to pull funds funds from other envelopes and I'm okay with that. So let's just go to pets and here I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Um, so I have three pets orders. The first one was 9410. So... I am I'm going to take out oh that was actually cat food. Okay, so the the toy that I got for her was 73.69. That's not what the toy actually cost. I think the toy was like $30. And then I picked up ordered her some dry treats as well cuz my Amazon shipment doesn't come until next week and they were completely out. So I'm going to take out the 73 70 $74, so 50 70 1 2 3 4 and that will leave me with 20 sorry 10 20 21 22 in pet, my pets fund Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm being overrun by, by cats. So $74 came out of my pets fund. Now the other two pet items I'm going to pull out of my Amazon monthly. And the reason why I'm doing that is because Amazon was out of stock in their um, case of food that I usually buy on a monthly basis. And so I had to get the mix box. And I usually just pull the mix box from... What am I doing? Pull, yeah, it's in here. The mix box from Chewy, but they were also out of stock. So I had to buy from Amazon. And I don't, either way, I don't have a problem buying from Amazon for the mixed food. It's just that it was cheaper on Chewy. So I just usually check the two sites, um, check a couple of sites to see whether or not they have it in stock, and then buy the mix box from them. So I have. 
$95 was from their their regular cat food. And then $75, I ordered them some broth from, from Target. And, well, that was not 75,000. Okay, plus 10, plus 75, 169 for the two. And the Target order, I usually order every three months. So I'm not really concerned about it for next month. And it's just like a, it's a packet item, a broth um, called, it's a stew. They call it a stew. And I only get, I buy that for Kira because she didn't, doesn't drink a lot of water, but she's been good with drinking her water. And 20, 40, 60, 81, 50, 60, and 70. So I'm taking 75, $70 out of here. And the other two just eat it because they see it, so. And for these two items, these three orders, 5, 10, 15, I'm going to take the $15 out of my Amazon subscription um, because I don't want to take, they didn't, there was no five in Amazon, sorry, in my pets envelope. And I definitely want to contribute to my own online order challenge order. So every time I place an order online, I'll pull the $5 from that envelope. So Pets had three online orders, two from Amazon, one from Target, and I'm going to take $15 out of their envelope. So I don't have $15. That's unfortunate. I have a 20. I'm going to take the 20 out. And let's see. Can I break $15? A 20? Can I break a 20? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take the 20 out and I'll put back the $5 as I go through it. So I have to remember to put back put back $5 into my Amazon monthly. My next item would be my transportation. And that's also in this binder. Um, not this binder. This binder. And I'm pulling out. $80, so that's exactly $80, $20, $40, $60, $80. And I'm just keeping this a separate because I want to add that to my challenge and to um, remember to put back the $5. The next item, so this was already filled too, would be groceries and that was $26 from Target. And let's see, 20, I'll take out $30. No, I'm gonna take out 26. So I'm gonna put the $4 back in. So I'm taking out 30, putting back 40, $4. And that should cover me for Target. I actually need some fives because I gotta pull out $5 from here. So let's see if I can break a five in. Hubby's envelope. No. Miscellaneous. So, my spending envelope. Do I have two fives? Nope. Toiletries? Nope. Uber? Nope. I don't know. Where did all my fives go? Let's see. Eating out. No. Let's go to my long-term sinking funds. Okay, so I'm taking out two fives from birthday and putting the ten dollars back. Okay, perfect. So this five dollars is going into my online shopping challenge and since I already owed Amazon monthly the five dollars back I'm just going to throw it back into my Amazon monthly envelope until everything is settled and this goes back into groceries So groceries and my five dollars from Amazon monthly. That's one hundred and one hundred and forty-eight dollars. It's the Target order, but I had broken it up by category. And the last item, sorry, I have two more items. One item is for my taxes. I did file my taxes this 
yesterday and I am getting money back, but I completely forgot about having to pay to have it done yesterday. Um, and I did the same thing last year and I forgot to, when I started the new year, I didn't budget it into my uh, monthly subscriptions because I, I remember, I noted that I had to pay for it last year, but I didn't have to pay for it the year before because I do my own taxes and um, when the program that I use, they make, they make you upgrade if if you have an HSA and my husband has an HSA and I don't have an HSA. So I didn't realize that I actually had to do an upgrade. So I, I'm going to pull the money out of subscriptions and it's only $73. $73 and I'll just have to build this back up to get to... Actually, I think I'm good. I think the next thing is Amazon and... I should be good for Amazon, which comes out in April. So that's that. If anything, the next my next paycheck, I'll probably get a bit a little bit more as opposed to the regular five dollars. And I am taking seventy. I'm gonna get taking seventy five dollars, even though it was seventy three dollars, and I'm gonna put twenty five dollars back. Um, nope, I can't do that. I'm gonna put thirty dollars back. And that is for my taxes. I'm just glad to have it out of the way. And then the final thing that I spent was Starbucks. And I'm not, I think I'm going to take that money out of miscellaneous. I really should take it out of my personal, but I know I don't have $30 in my personal. And no, I didn't spend $30 at Starbucks, even though that wouldn't be unusual if you went to Starbucks five days out of the week. But if you guys use the Starbucks app, um, they give you two points for every dollar when you use a gift card or when you use their prepaid service. Um, and then it also gives you the option of adding a credit card. So I had a gift card. I got a gift card from my husband and I also got a gift card from my boss. And... Um, so I just applied the gift card to the Starbucks app. And then there was a little bit of change left on the gift card after I had used it, but not enough money. It was like $3, not enough money to get my latte. And so I added the card and I just funded the gift card because it wouldn't allow me to split the, the charge. And it worked for me because I just scanned my phone when I go into Starbucks, but it also gives you two points for every dollar. So when you use the gift card or when you use their prepaid service, it gives you two points for every dollar. And then, and if you use your card, it's the it just matches your point. So you get one point for every dollar. So if you guys are going to Starbucks frequently, then I would suggest not, but double check your app to make sure it says the same thing. Um, funding your gift card or either funding that Starbucks prepaid service that they have also on the card, um, you know, so that you can get points. I'm almost, I have enough points to buy a dessert or something, get a free dessert, but I'm just going to save it up so I can get a free latte because I don't really need the dessert. And long story short, yes, that's why I have $35 at Starbucks and I go there twice a week. So, and it's usually five five something every time I go so I just funded it for the month uh so I don't want to take it out of my spending because I don't have um I only have twenty dollars in my spending I'm gonna take it out of miscellaneous so 35 eh, sorry I'm gonna take the I don't want to take it out of eating out either let's see I might just take it out of eating out and I know that's cheating you guys but I really don't want to take it out of my envelope. Um, miscellaneous only has ten dollars. Okay, let's see. What does my spending have? My spending has thirty dollars. I'm gonna do it. I'll take it out of my spending, and I'll take the five dollars out of miscellaneous. So now I owe miscellaneous five dollars, and I don't think I have a five dollar bill. So let me see if I can split it. Break it down somewhere. Let's see. I think Dollar Tree has. Nope, oh, let's go to my long term. So 
so happy Valentine's Day, everyone. It is Monday and this video is going to go up today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing below. I am working today, so I'm not doing anything. My husband's also working today, so he's we're not doing anything. We did order out and ordered Chinese food, and I'm kind of thinking Italian. Um, he paid for the Chinese food, which is why it's not on my tracker. And we ordered it the day before yesterday because... We knew that we weren't going to be able to get an Uber and we definitely weren't going to have time to go out. So that's what we did. So let me know what you guys are doing in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day and, um, and a wonderful week. So let's see. And that is all for my expenses for the week so i only have not only i have 20 dollars that is going to my online savings challenge and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i got that challenge from the budget mom she listed it maybe sometime i think it was november of last year when she was listing um some challenges that you could do on her instagram for low-income households and we are low-income households whole household and I found last year when I was only doing the one and the five dollar challenge, um, it was easier to pull pull money from the individual envelopes since I roll them over every year, every paycheck, every day, and it's easier to pull one five one dollars and five dollars out of those envelopes, individual envelopes, as opposed to designating money from my paycheck. Um, into savings challenges, even though that's what I am doing this year, splitting up my 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 paycheck into threes but three different categories expenses savings and investments but it was just it's an easy not easy but it's um it's yeah it's an easy way to save a couple of dollars a couple of extra dollars this year and i'm going to be doing that challenge this year for the entire year and see how much i save up and so far it's been so good but it's only february the second week of february so we will see how that turns out. So I am going to stop talking and do a quick count of the money that I am going to put back on my credit card. And I always pay off my credit card at the end of the month. When I pull the money out on a weekly basis, it goes into an envelope. I deposit that money at the end of the month and pay off those cards. So let's do 150, 220, 40, 60, 80, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60. So 360, $360 is going back onto my credit card. I believe there are still some pending charges, so I'm not going to pay it yet. Sometimes I pay the if I'm going to the bank and I like I'm have to go to the bank this week to pull out my paycheck. I'll just deposit the money and make two payments on my credit card. It really varies. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that I had pulled the money out of my investments envelope. And I'm just going to double check that. And I'm not sure if I told you guys in my previous video. And I just wanted to let you guys know. I pulled the money from my investments envelope just in case I did it off camera. So that I can deposit it into my Robinhood account. And I do like pulling it out and stuffing it because I do break my paychecks down into two. And I just like to have that flexibility because I might end up splitting that money when I do invest it, meaning putting half into my Robinhood and putting half into my Roth IRA, which I haven't opened yet because my focus this week was for this weekend was to file my taxes. So that is so that's one goal that I had gotten off of my February list and opening the Roth IRA, which you guys had a lot of beautiful suggestions in my last video. Um, in regards to who I should open one with, and um, I'm gonna open. That's one of my goals for the end of the month. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that is what I. So I'm gonna continue to stuff the investments and then pull the money. I may end up pulling the money off of pulling the money off camera most of the time, so that I can just deposit it and um, and then put the money towards my my investments but I do like to pull the funds out because I get paid bi-weekly and I also get those extra incomes and you guys know I break up my extra income and my regular income for in regards to investments differently 
So I like to physically see how much I am actually investing. I also like to track it and I pull it out of my account because there are, there's a lot of traffic going through on my account. It pulls out bills. So the money that I have deposited is always coming from the same checking account and not the same as account. And so that's why I'm more comfortable doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to start doing breaking it up when I open the Roth IRA. That was the point of the story anyway. So <laughs> that is all for today. 360 is going back onto my card. I want to thank you guys all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. And if you're not celebrating Valentine's Day today because it is Monday, let me know what you guys plan on doing any day to celebrate Valentine's Day. I did get myself a gift. I bought myself a box of chocolate. Probably shouldn't have bought myself a box of chocolate. And I bought my husband a box of chocolate too. Um, he doesn't really like eat sweets. Like He doesn't really like sweets, but he does like Ferrero Rocher chocolates. And so I got him that too. He has already eaten it and it, he already ate his entire box. So I'm not even gonna say he ate it by himself because I did have a couple. So he does, that is his favorite chocolate. And so that's what I got him for Valentine's Day. So let me know what you guys got for Valentine's Day. And that is it. I Yes, that is it. So get giveaway closes on Friday Saturday when I post my when I post my cash stuffing video and I will announce the winners in that video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care. Bye guys.